Daniel Howard, Chief Technical Officer of the SCTE. Here's a quick overview of OFDM. Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing, or OFDM, is like conventional frequency division multiplexing, but the carriers are all generated by a single transmitter in a special way that allows them to be squeezed much more closely together and span a much wider RF bandwidth, up to 200 megahertz. That means we can reduce or eliminate guard bands and pack more bits per hertz into existing HFC networks with minimal changes. How is this possible? Since the OFDM subcarrier symbols are rectangular pulses in the time domain, they have the form of sine x over x or sync functions in the frequency domain. If we line up the sync functions just right, the zero points of other subcarriers line up at the peak of a given subcarrier, which is what makes them orthogonal and therefore non interfering with each other. The narrow subcarriers of OFDM can be individually adapted to the channel conditions, so one subcarrier can have 4096 qualm while another might only have 64 qualm due to ingress in that part of the spectrum. Or the other subcarrier might be nulled entirely, which is like ingress cancellation on steroids. Also, since the OFDM symbols are much longer in the time domain, channel equalization is much easier. Microreflections are less of a challenge, and heavy upstream impulse and or burst noise can be easily mitigated by forward air correction technologies. Using OFDM in cable will lead to better economies of scale as well since Wi-Fi and LTE also use it. With OFDM in DOCSIS 3.1, cable operators will be on the path to achieving 5 gigabit per second service in the downstream, and with a slight expansion of the upper RF frequency of HFC plants, 10 gigabit per second service is achievable on the downstream, and 1 gigabit per second on the upstream, thereby ensuring cable networks keep up with customer demand for ever more increasing internet speeds and services delivered by cable. Thank you. Thank you for watching this tech tip on orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. For the complete presentation, visit www.sct.org slash live learning. This topic also relates to SCT's Broadband Distribution Specialist Certification and BDS Training Course. Visit these websites to learn more.